tons of sediment is being pulled from the Logan River. It's part of a project to clean up power generators at Second Dam. Yeah, but as new specialist Mike Anderson explains, it also shows how decades worth of muck and debris all came down from this past year's runoff. Mike? As the water flows downstream, it brings with it so much more stuff. And we think that they're going to take about 32 to 34,000 cubic yards out of this reservoir right here. Mark Montgomery, director of Logan's Light and Power Department, says easily more than half of that came down with this past spring runoff. He says the rest of it collected over the past 10 years since before he worked with the city. And I don't think they've really done a full-scale sediment removal on this reservoir for 50, 70, 80 years. But this operation actually has little to nothing to do with flood control. Years of dirt and debris can get in the way of the city's power generators. Some damage has already been done. In fact, there are two generators that are fed by this diversion. One of them is completely disassembled and being shipped off to a machine shop because it's seen so much degradation from the sediment going through it. It's like sandpaper, right? Just chews it up. And he estimates it will cost around $2 million to clear this area at Second Dam over about 10 weeks. Many of these sort of islands formed during those high runoff times, and there's even more above Third Dam. But Montgomery says because of city budgets, that's going to have to be another project for another year. Large runoff years like we had this past spring with all the snow we had in the mountains, it brought a lot of stuff down from the mountains. And because that one's full, it came down to this one, and it really gave us problems at this one. Unfortunately, a smaller city budget makes it tough to keep up, but the big step being taken here now, he says, will go a long way in clearing the sediment traps down below, opening up the path for better power production. In Logan Canyon, Mike Anderson, KSL 5 News.